you left me so many comments with your torture ideas below the previous video, I had no choice but to make a sequel. This time, let's talk about the most insane and brutal tortures in history. They're so savage that only the Chosen can survive them. But first, I want to play a game. one of the tortures in this video was invented by me. Can you guess which one? In this video, you'll find out why did some executioners feed their victims honey with milk? Why is it better not to be captured by the Vikings? And how to survive the most insane tortures in history? Imagine tortures that are so painful that it drives you crazy and kills you slowly. Let's move across the map to China to have a closer look at them. Ling Chi, Death by a Thousand Cuts, was used in China back in the Middle Ages. The process involved tying a person to a wooden post, usually in the main square. The executioner grabbed a sharp knife. This knife was used to cut flaps of skin and muscles from the body in multiple slices. Next, the executioner would make his way over to the arms, cutting off the person's fingers in pieces, joint by joint, or even whole limbs. This torture could last for three days in a row. The persistent burning pain gradually drove the victim insane, and blood loss and exhaustion resulted in a long and painful death. There was no way to survive the Ling Chi torture, at least not if you were in medieval China. Only the alien from Ridley Scott's films might be able to survive Ling Chi. Let's suppose somebody managed to catch him and tie him to a post. The executioner with a sharp knife approaches the victim to make the first incision and gets dissolved in acid. Before torturing alien species, you better make sure they don't use molecular acid for blood. Another insane torture is the Chinese water torture. A person was placed under a container of ice water. The person's head was stabilized with cold water repeatedly dripped onto the forehead. It was one of the rare tortures that caused mental suffering rather than unbearable pain. To achieve maximum effect, the patterns of the drops and the time intervals had to be irregular. So drop by drop, the tortured individual would develop a sense of enormous fear and hopelessness. But how not to go crazy being water tortured? Well, you can't go crazy if you're already crazy. You know, like the Joker. I think in this case, the executioner would go crazy. Just imagine, you've been torturing a person with water for many hours. Everyone who went through that torture before had broken down by that time, but not the Joker. Every drop falling on his forehead just makes him laugh a little harder. Now, I invite everyone who likes to eat while watching my videos to put their food aside for a bit. Because I'm going to entertain you with the most disgusting torture in history. And it's called scaphism. This torture first appeared in ancient Persia. A person was laid down in a boat that was then covered with another boat, so that the head, hands, and feet were left outside. The victim was force-fed a mixture of milk and honey to provoke diarrhea and left to float on a stagnant pond. Very soon afterward, honey and feces attracted flies and other insects. They would sting and lay their eggs in the victim's body, and their larvae would slowly eat the person away from the inside. The victim suffered from dehydration and severe pain, and the torture could last for weeks. Is it possible to survive that? It's certainly possible if you're Beatrix Kiddo from Kill Bill. Years of training helped her escape from being buried alive in a coffin. It wouldn't be a problem for her to destroy the boat structure with a fast and accurate punch. The main thing would be to float as far away from the executioner as possible. Fortunately, scientists believe that scaphism was actually just a made-up story told by ancient Greek historians to ruin the reputation of the Persians. Whereas the next torture was used on escaped prisoners during the Inquisition, and there are records of it detailed in prison documents. Escapees who were caught were not necessarily executed. 
Sometimes they were made to wear something called Diogenes pants and released. Two curved iron plates that were in the shape of the leg were stabilized above the prisoner's knees. They were violently tightened and fixed by bolts on both legs. After that, the prisoner was released outside the city walls with his hands tied. Every step the victim took caused them severe pain. Diogenes' pants completely blocked blood circulation in the legs below the knees. After about an hour, the legs could no longer carry the person, and the prisoner was unable to walk. Over time, the victim developed gangrene, and their tissues slowly started to die. So, how to survive if you're made to wear Diogenes' pants? You could ask Hugh Glass about this. The character that DiCaprio played in The Revenant, he managed to walk over 300 kilometers with a broken leg, so Diogenes' pants would seem like a child's toy to him. And in case of a bear attack, the Diogenes' pants could work as a tourniquet, and Glass wouldn't lose so much blood. Nevertheless, Diogenes' pants can't be called the worst torture in history, especially compared to the Blood Eagle. This torture is thought to have been invented by the Vikings. The victim was placed in a prone position and tied to a table. First, the executioner made a knife incision along the spine, from the coccyx to the neck. Then, with an axe, he separated the ribs one by one and opened them out. And the whole time the victim was conscious, but that's not all. The executioner took the victim's lungs pulled them out through the incisions and spread them to simulate a pair of wings. That's why this torture is named the Blood Eagle for the so-called wings. But how to survive if they're trying to turn you into a Blood Eagle? It would be possible to survive if you're Deadpool. He's the only one who can duplicate another set of lungs, and one of the very few who can make an executioner hysterical with his jokes. All jokes aside, the Blood Eagle is one of the most brutal tortures in history. Still, it's child's play compared to the Judas Cradle. Imagine a pyramid-shaped and sharpened device the size of a chair, the apex of which was inserted into the victim's anus or vagina. Weight was added to the victim's legs, and their hands were tied so that they couldn't change their position. This torture could last from a few hours to a couple of days. The pyramid slowly penetrated the victim, damaging internal organs and causing agonizing pain. Is it possible to survive the Judas Cradle torture? Yes, it is. And I know only one person who could handle that, and it's Captain Coons from Pulp Fiction. I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass two years. He'd not only survive that torture, but would also save the Cradle of Judas for his private collection. But what other torture methods have been used by historical executioners? How about the Pair of Anguish? Historians still don't know exactly how it was used. One of the variations looks like this. The victim was tied up and the Pair of Anguish was pushed into their mouth. Then the executioner turned the key, and the mechanism made the leaves slowly separate from the rest, opening the jaws. The other use case involves inserting the pair not into the mouth, but the anus or vagina of the victim. There were also sharp spikes at the apex of the iron leaves. When the instrument was opened inside a person, it caused pain and bleeding. While historians are debating as to precisely how it was used, let me tell you how to survive the pair of anguish torture. You'll need an ancient wooden mask and the superpowers it gives you. With such an ability to stretch your body, the pair of anguish in your mouth or anywhere else simply won't be able to hurt you. But if the pair of anguish device seems just too simple for you, please take a look at the head crusher. It was used for a thousand years, up until the 15th century. The victim had an iron cap put over their head and attached to a frame. The victim's jaw was placed on the bar. Then the torturer started rotating the screw bar, slowly compressing the head. First, the person felt excruciating pain. As the pressure increased, the victim's jaw was crushed and the teeth were shattered. 
After the next turn of the screw, the pressure in the eye sockets increased and the eyeballs popped out of the skull. If the torture kept increasing the pressure, the victims' brains would gush out of their ears. It seems impossible to survive this torture, but not for the vision. This superhero can alter his density. Therefore, he has two options to reduce his head's density so much that the head crusher will phase right through it, or to go the other way around and increase its density to the extent that the crusher mechanism will break with the first turn of the screw. I don't even know which of these tortures is the most insane, but one of them was never used on people because I invented it. Can you guess which of the tortures in this video is the fake one? Write your thoughts in the comments. And click the like button if you want one more video about tortures. And do subscribe the channel.